you know, I like to find really effective strategies to increase your survival, your health without spending a lot of money. And that's what this video is about. Unfortunately, our environment is just very, very polluted. Uh, we are being bathed in chemicals and heavy metals is one of the toxins that we're exposed to. And I'm talking about mercury, lead, cadmium, arsenic, and these heavy metals can accumulate in our tissues. They can cross the blood brain barrier. They can affect the heart, your digestive system, your neurons, your red blood cells. They can make you anemic. They can attack the ATP and make you tired. They actually affect certain proteins and they block certain proteins. Like for example, the proteins that allow you to grow hair. So one of the side effects would be hair loss. And these heavy metals also create a lot of free radicals, a lot of oxidation, and they force our own antioxidants to work harder. But not only that, heavy metals tend to block our own, it's called endogenous antioxidants. Now our bodies already have a very powerful uh, detoxification system. It comes from within. The same thing with our immune system. We have an immune system that can actually fight off things. But of course, so many people are trying to sterilize the environment and ignoring their own immune system. Well, the same thing occurs with heavy metals. You can avoid them to a certain degree for sure, but you should also know about how to strengthen as a really smart strategy, your detox enzymes. Okay. I'm talking about glutathione. I'm talking about SOD, which stands for superoxide dismutase. These are enzymes that help you break down chemicals. They're also going to help you uh, prevent oxidation and also prevent free radical damage. And the problem is the heavy metals block these systems. Just like, for example, antibiotics greatly reduce your immune system. And I'm talking about the chemicals from pollution, uh, water, air, food, certain fish, shellfish loaded with mercury. And the younger you are, the more highly uh, susceptible you are to the damage. So it just so happens there are some natural herbs that you can tap into to not only detoxify by chelation, and chelation means you're binding something with the heavy metal and removing it through the system. But not only that, they have the ability to upregulate or turn up as a dial your own enzymes that detoxify. So the genes that control detoxification can be upregulated by what I'm going to talk about next. Now, this is really cool because these herbs can very easily be added to your diet with very little expense and just as a part of a healthy lifestyle. You don't have to even buy any supplements. You just put a little bit of this into your food on a regular basis. So the first one is sulforaphane in broccoli sprouts, but especially broccoli microgreens, which are basically sprouts that have grown a little bit bigger. I would definitely recommend growing your own. And I'm going to be doing some videos on that. And if you get broccoli microgreens, ideally, if you can get them grown in soil, that would be the ideal situation. But even if you get them as sprouts, you're going to get good amounts of sulforaphane. So broccoli sprouts doesn't take much, a little bit in your salad, a few times a week. That's all you need to do. Remember these sprouts are like 20 to 40 to 50 to even a hundred times more concentrated than adult broccoli. It means you don't need much to create the effect. The next herb, and it's also considered a spice, which is very powerful, is cilantro. In the UK, uh, it's known as coriander, but cilantro has been around for a very, very long time. It was even found in the tomb of King Tut. Uh, there's also some powerful research that can act as a powerful anti-convulsant for those people who have seizures. But cilantro is used in a lot of different recipes. It's in Thai recipes. It's in salsa, uh, certain Indian dishes in guacamole. So I want to encourage you to just use more cilantro in your food because it can act as a powerful chelator with virtually zero side effects. It can act as an antioxidant to reduce the free radicals. And it can also upregulate your detoxification genes to get rid of these heavy metals and other poisons. And then we have allicin in garlic. Garlic is a very potent chelator, and it's also a potent upregulator of the detoxification genes. Curcumin, okay, in turmeric is another one. And of course, you have the cruciferous vegetables can also help. Now, of course, to avoid heavy metals, you're right. I don't know what island you'd have to live on, but you can at least start doing more organic 
And you can get a really good water filter to help eliminate some of the toxicity that you're exposed to. Now, since I mentioned mercury, which is a very common heavy metal that we're exposed to, if you have not seen my video on how to reduce the mercury in the fish that you eat, I put that video right up here, check it out. 